Good evening, beloved. I am posting this short intro to let you all know that I put up a podcast of a video, a message, it's an archive message that I shared over a year ago. And the title of it is, Abba Father Chooses Whom He Wills. The Wedding Banquet, song by Amy Duncan. And I posted the scriptures. I'm going to go ahead and post the scriptures below that you can check out, but you're going to need to click on the link to the full length archive message that I will be posting in the description for you to hear this, this message. You will, what you're going to hear is just a two minute clip of this message. And I believe it's a very timely word. You haven't heard much from me because there's a lot going on. There's always a lot going on, <laughs> but suffice it to say that the things that the father is doing, the heat's been turned up more and more. The father is dealing with some things that have been falling at, I would say, the bottom of the barrel, you know, where things get pretty, pretty, it's like when things collect at the bottom, it gets like hard and gooey and just ugly. <laughs> some of the things that the father has been doing is been a real shaking on a, on a level that hits very close to home, things I'm having to learn to let go of, things I'm having to learn to embrace, things that I have ran away from. The Father's saying, now you're ready to deal with these things. So that's why I believe the Father has taken the time to pull me away. As you all know, I had shared with you some months back that the Father said he was going to stop pouring through me like he was before and the messages were going to slow down and there would be maybe one here or there and that he put it on my heart to post the archive messages because they really are appropriate and they're very timely for us for the things that we know are really happening and will be happening in rapid succession for sure. We need to be prepared, beloved. We need to get our hearts ready. The Father's calling us to obedience, to repentance, to work on the, those areas in our life that we have been putting off. He's wanting to open up areas in us and our heart that we have closed off, whatever it could be. He is wanting to deal with those things because we're not gonna be able to help and be a help to those who are in our households and or anyone else that the Father is putting in our life, if these things remain undone, is it's just going to get harder? Is it going to get more difficult? But always remember, beloved, I don't know exactly where I can look it up, but this is really impromptu, what I'm sharing right now, that the fear of man is a snare. We're not to be afraid of man. We're not to be afraid of or put our trust in the arm of flesh we need to put our trust in yahuwah and our, in our abba father we're not to be afraid of what he would have us do or, or or not do we need to do what the father is telling us to do we need to walk in obedience obedience to his ways and his words and he's working in all of us having to do with self a lot of us ourself has still been sitting on the throne and he wants to dethrone ourselves. And you all need to know that what he's been revealing to this vessel of late, and I've always known this, but with some of the things that have been coming to the surface, they haven't been pretty. You know, when I see the reflection of myself, I'm like, wow, Father, it's getting pretty, pretty, pretty ugly. But... You all know that I'm going to be honest with my walk. There's nothing 
to hide, but it's things that that have been really hard. But it's been causing me to really reflect and see things that the Father is wanting to deal with in order for me to be able to move on and to help others in this, this walk because our Messiah is coming very quickly. So he's doing this work. It's not just happening to me. It's those that I'm very close to. This is happening all over. The shaking, the heat being turned up, things the Father's saying, okay, we need to start dealing with this now. We cannot put this off. It's time. So this is the time that I'm finding myself personally in. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but to finish off what I was saying before about the fear of man is a snare, but those who trust in our Yahuwah, put our trust, who walk in his ways and trust other people, the people that we love and the changes that are going on in our households or anything else we're experiencing, we've got to start handing and giving these situations, circumstances, people, family, all into the hands of Yahuwah. And whatever happens, we have to trust him. Whether it be good, whether it not be good, whatever it is, we have to lay, lay these situations and people, those we love at his feet, and trust him because they're being used to test us. They're being used to prove our love. This is what it's about. To prove our love for him. This is why we're all here, to see those who love him and those who do not. And as the things are coming to a, a head, that love is getting tested. Are we going to remain faithful? Are we going to endure with him? When we keep falling and falling, are we going to get back up and say, Father, help me. I continue to fall, but I'm trusting you to help me to stand, stand up, get back up, and continue to fight this fight of faith. It is a good fight, but it's hard. For many of you out there, it's, it's hard. And it's getting even more difficult. But the Father is able to sustain us. He's able, as we trust in him, he said, he will keep us safe. I don't know what that means for each and every one of us, where that's going to take us. But as we look and keep our eyes on him, not on the things around us, not on the circumstances, not on the things that will create lots of fear and anxiety, but we need to keep our eyes on him and not these other things. Because... We're not to be afraid, beloved, because fear brings punishment, but perfect love drives out all fear. We need to yield to whatever he's doing in us to work that and perfect his love in us so that we can love him more. So I just wanted to give that intro and let you all know that you're in my prayers. I know that we're all going through a journey, this journey. I haven't heard from too many of you out there. I know whatever's going on. We are in the Father's hands and he will not lose any of his own. But it's time that we search our hearts and we start to repent and turn from those things that are not pleasing to Abba Father and have him deal with those things and not ignore them anymore. Whatever it is that we've been putting off. So beloved, with all of that said, I do have a few more songs, spontaneous worship songs. I have two waiting to be put out there, and I just received another one this morning. He's truly doing that when I do pick up the guitar, even in times where it's like, Father, how can you even pour out a song? But he knows my love for him and my desire to walk in his ways, and this is why he's bringing a lot of these things to the surface. You know, like our brother in King David said, Father, search me, try me. Know my heart. See if there be any anxieties in me. Search me, know me, and see if there be any wicked way in me. This is what we need to do. We need to ask Abba Father to search those things in us. Are we ready to have our face-to-face -face meeting with him? It's going to come. Every one of us are going to have that meeting with our Messiah. 
And he is not coming as the suffering servant, but he's coming as the, the lion. He is coming with a rod. He's coming to bring forth judgment. Are we ready? Pray that the Father makes us ready, that he can, when he comes, because he's coming for a bride that was that spot, wrinkle, blemish. So beloved, I bid you all shalom. And uh, the title of this message is called Our Abba Father Chooses Whom He Wills. Before I get started, I want to pray and give this over to the Father, this message, that His will and not my will be done, that He chooses whomever He chooses to listen to this message and that those in whom he chooses will have ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying and that you will take this message, that you will study things out further, that you would seek his face, that you be a good Berean and uh, do some deeper study. So with that, let's pray. <clears throat> Abba Father, thank you so very much for the blessing of your word. Thank you, Abba Father, that you are not a respecter of persons in that you would give a word to me and that I'm anything special. I'm not. I'm one of your vessels. I'm one of your children. I'm one of your broken, flawed vessels that you desire to pour through because I desire you above all, above everything in my life, above everyone in my life. So I thank you, Abba Father, for giving me this message and that you would reveal and show to those who are hearing this mes message that they too can receive from you. They too can be taught